Hi everyone, this is Carla and welcome to my channel. Uh, today I'm going to be doing another project for Christmas in July. This is something that I make every year, but this year I'm going to try a little bit different packaging. I'm going to be making some Emery board holders, and I have not tried this one before, so I think it was uh, really cute. I saw it on Pinterest, and so I'm going to give it a shot with things I have. So the first thing you're going to need to do, you're going to take some... Christmas card stock and it's really better if it's double sided because you'll be folding it and the other side will be showing. So you're going to take a um, 12 inch strip by 2 inches. And I played around with this because my emery boards were a little bit wider and a little bit longer than I have bought in the past. And where I found my emery boards this year was at TJ Maxx. I was in there, oh, last spring, and I knew that I would be making these for my craft fair. So I just went ahead and bought these, and they came 28 um, little emery boards in this little box, and they were $7.99. I think I've made like maybe 17 of them. Some of them were solid, and some of them had a print. And some of the prints, I couldn't really get it to go with some of my Christmas papers. So I did mostly solids, but, you know, it turned out fine. I love them. Anyway, so as I was saying, I played around with it. First, I started with like an inch and a half wide. And it was too uh, small. When you cut in the side like a pillow box, it would not go down through it. Then I went to one and three fours and it was a really tight squeeze. You really couldn't glue it together. So I went ahead and went with the two inch and that seemed to work. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make two for you. So we're gonna take both of these little strips that are 12 by two. I'm gonna take my little scoreboard and I'm going to turn it so when I fold it up, this will be going right side up. So I'm going to lay it down with the pattern side down because that's the part I want to fold up. And then it has this candy cane stripe on it. Now this paper is from last year and it was called Christmas Magic and it was by Doodlebug. So I'm going to first score it at four and a quarter and then four and a half. Now, you really wouldn't have to score it if you didn't want to, but I just kind of like that nice, uh, crisp edge when I put this together. And I did all of mine at once. I kind of did an assembly line. I went ahead, I cut all my strips like so, and then I uh, put it down and scored it. Again, I'm going to lay it so when I fold this up, my trees will be standing up. And I'm going to score it again at four and a quarter and four and a half. I'm going to go ahead and just crease that, fold it like so. And then the next thing we're going to be doing is I'm going to take my We Are Memory Keepers punch board. Yeah, putting this up and getting this out. So I'm going to take my We Are Memories Keeper punch board and I'm going to take this little strip that I've cut and I'm going to lay it like this horizontally and I'm going to line it up with this four and a half inch mark. I'm going to slide it under this little... Um, cutter there. I want it at the four and a half inch mark. I want this to be as straight as I can down here. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to give that a punch and then I'm just going to turn that over. Put it at four and a half again and try to keep these lined up here where you punch the first time. Pretty even there. I have to push that in a little bit. There we go. And there. Looks good. It's going to be at the four and a half mark. Pull that down a little bit. There we go. And it doesn't have to be perfect. I don't know why it's sliding so much. I didn't do that earlier. There we go. 
All right, but I want that in the center. Okay. All right, so there we've got this one. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. Turn it this way, slide it under that little punch. Go to four and a half. And line these up fairly straight. Don't have to be real perfect. And then I'm gonna take that out, flip it over. Same thing. Let me see a little bit there. And now we're finished with our punch. So get that out of the way. This little pieces of paper out of our way. And now you've got a piece of paper and it looks like this. Now, the next thing you're gonna do, I'm gonna take my art glitter glue and I'm just going to flip this open and I'm gonna glue these edges, not all the way to the score line, about a mm, quarter of an inch, half inch up, and just a very thin line, very thin, because you don't want that going over. And the width you make yours and the length will depend on your emery board, so you can kind of adjust it to fit the size of your emery board, the length and the width. So I'm gonna just line these up, come down here, wipe my fingers off. And I've got some little clothespins over here that I am just going to clip this right down here. Wipe that off a little, squeeze that up. Clip that down there so that can dry and clip that down here so this can dry. There we go. Now I'm gonna lay that over there and while that's dry, we're gonna go ahead and apply the glue to the side of this one. I always sell these. They always are a good seller. They make cute little stocking stuffers, little Secret Santa gifts and or just little favors, office favors or something like that. And we're gonna fold this up again. Okay, I wanna get this glue off of my mat. And let's see, let's push this up. Those together. A couple little clothespins here. Clip that down here and come over here and just put a little clip on there and let that dry. Let's see, I'm gonna try to get some more of this glue off my fingers. I just don't like touching everything when my fingers get gluey. Seems like my fingers wanna pick up stuff that I don't want sticking to my project. So, let get that cleaned off a little bit. Now, let's go to this one. Now, next thing I'm gonna do is take my corner punch, and I'm gonna take the larger one, and we're just gonna slip it down in here, and I'm gonna punch the corners, punch this corner, and do the same thing on this one, punch this corner, and punch this corner, there. Now I'm gonna let that still just sit a second. And while that's still drying, we're gonna go ahead and decorate the front. Now what I did to embellish the front, excuse me, I'm trying not to get my arm in the way here. I went, uh, to the paper that I used for each of these little emery board holders. And I just took my, let's see, it's an inch and a half scallop punch. I just punched out two little scallops to decorate the front. So I've got this one that's the red and white stripe. And this one on the back was the polka dot. So we're gonna go ahead and glue those on. I want it kind of down toward the bottom. There we 
get this one on. I'm going to put my stripes going at an angle. Like so. Get that down there and let that dry. And then I went into my stash of all my Christmas kind of stickers and things. And last year, at the end of the season sale at Hobby Lobby, I picked up several sticker, sticker packages, excuse me, and uh, that's what I'm using to put on the fronts of these. So I've got this one. It's got lots of little Santas and reindeer and this one, ornaments and packages. And this one is really cute. I didn't use it for this project, but it is very cute. So I'm going to go with, let's see, I think, I just love these little gingerbread houses. I think I'm going to take the gingerbread house and oh, here it comes. And I'm going to put it on this one with the trees. It's a sticker, but I want to go and put some glue on there. It's a puffy sticker, so it really is a cute little embellishment for these. I'm going to take this off now. It should be on there good enough. There, kind of mash that down, get that fairly straight. Those are drying pretty good. I'll take that off and we'll lay those clothespins back here. And for the stripe one, let's see, let's do, hmm, they're all ornaments. I think I'm gonna take, I think I'll take this little um, gift here. To it. It's kind of blue and kind of pink, hues of pink. I think I'll take this to put on there. So we're going to take this. Oops, move that over. And let's put this little gift right on the front of that. Then the other thing I did. I took some of my baker's twine and I tied some little bows on there. Now, before I do that, though, I'm going to see if I can get my embroidery uh, boards in there without this coming apart. I'm just hoping the glue has dried enough. And I chose this one uh, was kind of pink. I think I'm going to put it in the red one and this with the yellow and the little yellow ornaments and star on this paper. I think I'm going to put this one in here. Now I'm going to hold my breath. I'm going to take my bone folder and kind of slip it in there and just see how much that has dried. Let's see if we can get down in there. And you can see there's this little end that I score that gives it that little um, square edge, clean edge that maybe the tip of that embroidery board will go down in there. So we want the yellow one in here, or gold, it's kind of a gold. Let's see if we can slip that in. It's still snug, even though we went two inches on that. And that's because, you know, you cut in here. Oh, I like that. That looks really cute. Now we're gonna do the same thing over here with the pink one. And push that in. Raise that up. There. And let's see if we can slide this one in. Just gonna slide it in. Yeah, there, that works nicely. Because when I did this at one and three fourths, you could not put glue in here just gaped open so I like this much better with the two inches but like I said you know it depends on what size emery boards you use so got that there now we're going to take my red and white oh, here we go here butcher's twine here want it long enough Dang. Snip that off. 
snip it in two. I'm just gonna tie that around. This is cut out here. And make a bow. And I doubled that. I just think it looks nice to have have it doubled on there. Pull it snug this way with it. Yeah. Play with that a little bit. That looks good. Pull those down and then trim those off a little bit. One here, one a little longer. One up here, one a little longer. Cute! Adorable. And then we'll do this one. Same thing, gonna double it up. Snip that off. Snip this in two. And let's tie it on. And here you go. Pull that like so. This one doesn't need to be trimmed that much. I'll trim this one just a little bit. Since that side tied up a little shorter, we'll just trim that one down a little bit. And there you go. There you've got your very cute, um, whoops, got light over here, having trouble. <laughs> your very cute emery board holders for your craft fair. And I'll show you the ones I've done. Um, here are several, I think I made, like I said, 17, but if you can start looking and find a good deal on your emery boards, you know, they're, they're really fun and fast to make, and, um, you know, it's one of those things that people look for, little things, at my craft fair anyway, they do, I think that's why they come see me, because... They know I'm going to have affordable little items that, you know, say I care and say, you know, I'm thinking of you without breaking the bank. And I think that's what it's all about. It's that thought and these are adorable. And uh, anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have... Um, Share it with your friends. Let them know that, you know, it is Christmas in July. And there are lots of, lots of videos going on out there. Not just mine. There's lots of people doing videos. And maybe they would, you know, enjoy watching them. And uh, if they, you know, enjoy it and they would like to subscribe, tell them all they have to do is hit that little subscribe button. And I just appreciate that very much. Um... I appreciate all my subscribers, and like I've said before, I just enjoy all the comments. You all are just wonderful, and you say the kindest things that make me feel good, and, you know, I'm just having fun with this, and I enjoy doing it, and um, I enjoy knowing that other people enjoy watching me do it. So, anyway, I hope you have a wonderful day, and until next time, bye-bye.